Warning, contains spoilers for Flashpoint Beyond Number 5, Zero Hour, DC's most underrated crisis event, has just become perhaps its most important. At the time of its publication, Zero Hour was sold as a universe-shattering event and to be fair, it was, but today it is often overlooked in discussions of DC history. Yet in Flashpoint Beyond Number 5, the Time Masters reveal the event offered them a brand new insight into the workings of the DC Universe insight that just might save the Omniverse. The issue is on sale now in print and digital, first published in the summer of 1994. Zero Hour, written and illustrated by Dan Jurgens, was billed as a crisis in time. Hal Jordan, then possessed by Parallax, and aided by Extant, used his vast power to tamper with the fabric of space-time, initiating a crisis event that brought together the heroes of the DC Universe. They were successful in stopping Parallax and Extant, but as a result, alterations were made to the universe and the timeline. The publisher used the event to wrap up long-running storylines as well as launch new titles in that zero month that followed. Yet despite the storyline's epic nature and long-term ramifications, Zero Hour rarely gets the love it deserves but the latest issue of Flashpoint Beyond changes that, ascribing a new meaning to the event. Mr. Terrific has gone on national television, explaining the makeup of the larger omniverse. Debating him is Dr. Baxter, a member of the Time Masters. She reveals the existence of the Divine Continuum, which comprises space, the Omniverse, and time, hypertime. She reveals that the hypertime is largely unexplored. The program's host mentions some believe the Time Masters were behind that zero-hour event, which altered people's memory. Dr. Baxter retorts, telling the audience the Time Masters were in fact not behind Zero Hour but it did reveal, the bridge between the two sides of existence, the Divine Continuum. Dr. Baxter then reveals that the Zero Hour event did change history. The book is written by Jeff Johns, Tim Sheridan and Jeremy Adams, illustrated by Zermanico and Mikel Janin, colored by Romulo Fajardo Jr. and Jordi Belair and lettered by Rob Lee. Zero Hour was billed as a universe-shattering, crossover event, but the years have not been kind to it, and does not get the love of other crisis events, such as Crisis on Infinite Earths or Flashpoint. It is rarely mentioned in the history of great DC events, despite the top-notch talent involved, Zero Hour touched every part of the DC universe, crossing over into every book the publisher released. Furthermore, a number of titles, such as Legion of Superheroes or lesser-known heroes like Starman, were either revitalized or launched as a result of Zero Hour. Despite this, Zero Hour does not get the love it deserves but Flashpoint Beyond Number 5 changes that revealing the Time Masters learned of the makeup of the Divine Continuum during the event. This insight helped them in their mission to explore hypertime and it may be the key to beating the great darkness down the line. Lately, DC has been revisiting a number of characters and stories from the 1990s, such as Azrael or the death of Superman. It stands to reason that Zero Hour, DC's most underrated crisis event, may get the similar treatment, especially in light of its newfound importance. Flashpoint Beyond Number 5 is available now from DC Comics. With a gentle touch you tell me what all of I have to share it must be cause how you are what I own you only you Sat there.